Why do you think he's going on his trad con arc? Um, because of the Islam. Sh do you think he actually cares about the Islam? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess if I I don't talk to him that much personally, so it's hard for me to know. But it could be any number of things. Um, the red pill stuff will die immediately if you start talking to women. And but you have to get to women. You have to get to women that are outside of the ultra. I hate to use this word. I'm sorry, but outside of the ultra red pill pick me space. Because um, yeah. if you talk to women in the red pill pick me space, the red pill stuff seems really good. You'll find women that'll unironically be on that. Like, oh yeah, I love Andrew Tate shit. But if you get if you get out of that immediate circle, nothing will dissuade you from red pill faster than talking to real life women that will probably tell you that that's like the biggest red flag shit in the world. That nobody's looking for a guy that acts like that at all. And some of the things he was saying on that show made me sound like he was talking to a few more real women. That like when you talk to a woman outside of Miami Beach and you ask her what she's looking for in a man, they're not saying like good clothes, fast cars, lots of money. Like they're not usually saying things like that. It's usually more personality related so yeah. that might have been some things and then there is four wives yeah there is going to be a lot of cognitive dissonance in your brain trying to make red pill work with any sort of like traditional or any sort of muslim value system because they're wholly incompatible um that won't last long i don't know what people yeah. are going to do if they're going to turn away from the red pill and go the islam route or what but that that um red pill won't survive islam <laughs> because they're wholly and fundamentally incompatible and you saw that with sneako versus um fresh and fit they even made fun of like the trad con shit you know yeah yeah, well, it's been interesting seeing, like, uh, kind of the trad cons coming after the red pills now. Like, yes. the Bat Walls, the game Rolo stuff has been super interesting. And, yeah. like... And all the women. Kinda, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's super nice to see because it feels like a lot of the red pill is trying to basically be like, no, guys, trust me, we're conservative, yeah. too. Like it's, and do you think conservatives police their own better more often? Or is this just something... Um, it seems very good of them to be policing this, right? Of being like, ah, no, yeah, we don't stand for this. Um, do they police their own better? I don't, I don't know about that, but I just, I know that like the problem is just like that red pill shit is so incompatible with any type of conservative value. I don't know how they survive first contact, and now you're starting to see them bump against each other more. So I guess we'll see ultimately what ends up happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a really interesting. Like listening to like if Matt Walsh goes on like Fresh and Fit, that would be a really interesting interaction because nothing that they ever talk about is anything that would be compatible with Matt Walsh's worldview of relationship. True. Yeah. Yeah. So is this why? Because hmm, you think that the red pill is going to die, basically? Like it'll be gone. Yeah, I feel like it's going to fall off eventually. Because I just because I don't think it works. But I yeah I don't know. But we'll see. I, I could be totally wrong on that. But that's what that's the feeling that I have. Yeah. Yeah.